Hello dear YouTube, George here. Hope you're all well and happy. Uh, this here is Paul's uh, Lincoln that his good lady wife bought for him, I believe, back in the day. Brand new. Um, I bought one of these brand new myself when they came out and uh, ran it mobile for a long time. So um, basically, what we done with this, um, we went through it in through. The alignment procedure to make sure it was correct. Now, to be fair to Lincoln's, it, they're, if if they're off, it's not very far. So we just brought it back to the spec. I think there was something like 10 hertz in it. That was pretty much it. Uh, so then we secret sauced the cases and the bezel. Uh, you can do the bezel and the face on these. Um, so secret sauce the whole lot. Uh, done the orange ticks on the knobs. I think it just takes the bland look off the front of the radio. Ooh, too much. Just playing with my uh, exposure here. Um, it just kind of takes the bland look off the front of the radio. Uh, cleaned up the microphone as well. And um, serviced all the rotary controls. And, uh, push buttons and all that now the dimmer switch is broken i couldn't fix that because the latching mechanism is broken in the in the switch and it, this entire block of six is is all the ones so um you'd have to try and locate one of those which wouldn't be uh, particularly easy so um other than that not much else to say just Typical Lincoln, you know, does what it says on the tin and um, nice and tidy looking now, completely original except for the orange lines. I hope he likes them. Um, I do it with all the Lincolns I get through here actually, uh, even if I change the, I've done green ones and blue ones and I've done the lines to match, so I just think it looks good. Um, very, very tidy radio, only one little dink on the corner of the the face here and uh, the cases are, are 9 out of 10 just a little bit of a scuff here um, you know but like it's an old radio I think these come out in the mid 90s uh, or maybe a bit later than that I can't exactly remember but um, we'll stick it on the dummy load now uh, things are quiet fine yeah it's uh you know kind of very very heavy showers when it comes and then the sun comes out and dries the place up and it's uh just that kind of humid kind of boiling rain type weather here but ah look it's grand we had uh we had a very nice run of weather uh there for for a few weeks and uh, very very hot like 25 plus so it was lovely to get it as a, a big change from what we normally get here so uh yeah, great to hear from you, I have to say. Uh, been been quite a while, Daz, over. Yeah, yeah, it is. Do, do you know what? Uh, I've heard loads of people on the radio this past month on here. Ferry's always on here. You know, Ferry from Indonesia and his mates, they're always on here as well. Um, I've heard a lot of the other guys as well down south uh, on here. Yeah, so, yeah, it just shows you who, who's lurking around. Um, even Jean, Jean, or you call him John from France, gets on 40 metres. Uh, he's got the big Yagi antennas and he's got one of those, um, oh, what do you call them now? One of those um, um, Japanese towers. Um, one of those big Japanese towers. I forgot what you call them now. But he, he's always on here as well, Roger. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I always have the. Uh... I'd always have a rig on when I'm out here on the triple five, uh, when I'm out here working and, and uh, doing whatever I'd be doing. But uh, yeah, uh, uh, quite a few of the voices you hear are very familiar, Daz, over. Yeah, the, the Spanish lads, they're always on Yeah, sorry about that, Daz. I was just saying, um, I'd often have a radio on when I'm out here, 
and uh, quite a few of the voices you hear on on the on the nickel are very familiar over you still hearing me daz Yeah, very fine, Daz. Very fine. I'll send you a picture of the new shack on uh, on Facebook. So great to hear from you, Daz. Seventy three and all the best, over. That's the um, internal speaker because this has that. I don't know what they were thinking about, but this stupid nine pin Molex connector on the back. Uh, well, I had mine, I did away with the connector, and um, I had um, a 3.5mm socket and a switch beside it. So that if you plugged in um, an external speaker, you just flick the switch and it, it turned off the internal speaker and you had uh, external sound. So, thing I like about these is continuous tuning on them. Just going down in well into the 26 meg, see is anything happening. Anyway, um, we'll uh, stick it on the dummy load now and see what she's doing. Okay, so uh, we have it on the dummy load here now. I'll look at the power output run AM. So that's the low end of it because we have variable power. Oop. Let's put it midway. Seeing about four watts there with a little bit of swing going on. And full power. See a 10 watt dead key. I cannot whistle this weather. Audio, audio. One, two, one, two. So uh, there's AM on the scope. Uh, one, two, one, two, three, four. Hello, hello. Let's have a go at the speed here now. We'll try and get this scope to look right on. Oh, this is an absolute pain in there. It's because it's a CRT scope, I think. Uh, where are we? 
No, I can't because if I do, it just. Right now we try to the speed. Come on now. Oh, that's about the best I can do. One, two, one, two, three, four. Hello, one, two, three, four. Hello, radio. So we go to. FM and we have uh, full power 10 watts you can see there an FM that there's just uh, that's what you should have so we we'll go to upper side band we'll just leave it on full power I suppose one two hello one two three four she's just pegging the meter there um, so we go to the 150 watt scale so reading across the top one two hello audio audio one two three four hello radio hello Radio. Hello. Radio. That's upper side band. Lower side band. <whistles> same story. And uh, same story here. One, two, three, four. Hello. Radio. Hello. Radio. By right, I should be injecting a tone in to get that to look right in the scope, but it's just uh, to give you a rough idea of what's going on. So, uh, yeah, other than that, uh, she is all good. And uh, on the tank whip there now, so it's uh, always a bit quieter than the other one. But uh, that's pretty much it, so hope you like it, Paul. And... Uh, We'll get you again in another video. All the best.